carbohydrates, what they are, they sometimes too also, well, they get a good, they get a good rep in the sport industry, social media side, a bad rep in other platforms. Um, but like that, I love carbohydrates in all platforms. Um, carbs are stores in our body. So carbs, when we eat them, they're broken down into a simpler sugar and whatever we don't use, we also store some um, in the form of what we call glycogen. Um, and this is stored in the liver. So we can store a certain amount of carbohydrates within our body, around 120 grams. But often we find during training or during races, we use that quite quickly and we need a top up of carbohydrates. Um, so carbs are that limiting factor for performance of prolonged, continuous or intermittent, intermittent high intensity exercise. So we eat our slice of bread and that's broken down into a simple sugar called glucose. Glucose is then transported as quickly as it can um, as a source of energy to the muscles during exercise. Um, so it's transported to our muscle cells and we have insulin there at the door. It opens it up, it lets that glucose in, it shuts the door. When it enters that cell, it's like a top up of energy source. And what this does in turn is it's helping to reduce that onset of fatigue. It's helping us to increase performance and I suppose maintain the same intensity that we want to throughout that time. For those high, harder training days, the days leading up to races, the day of the race, we want half of that plate coming from a carb source essentially, because that's what's gonna become your best friend for that time and help you in terms of performance. So what happens if we have low carb stores is that, you know, say for a marathon, we all hear about hitting that wall, metaphorically, mentally, physically, but what might help is if we have that right amount of carbs and that right amount of top up going through. So it's just as important to have the prep done before the race as it is during the race as well. And also recovery time at, with training. If we have low carb sores, what's that associated with? So we have fatigue and we also kind of have an increased perception of the effort we're doing. So you could be running at the, the exact same rate and feeling absolutely fantastic for the first few kilometers. But if your carb sores are depleting, you will perceive that and it'll be becoming more and more hard to keep up with that effort and that rate if we're not giving an extra top up of carbohydrates.